I've been here seven years. I'm a Vietnam vet, and I don't deserve this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I think it would make a great, some Maybe, great yeah. interviews. I, and, I, and to get it before we go inside City Hall, to get that going around now, how upset some of these people are that they're even being considered to be removed out of their home, their housing, lose their housing. And say something like, well, if this does get cut, what do you plan on doing? Where are you going to go? And just kind of ask those questions like, what, what would you do? I think it'd make a great interview with some of these people over there. Because they're they're sitting there kind of shaking, wondering what's going to happen. It's being considered to being be... Being considered, yeah. And it's discussions inside City Hall on the uh, budget, you know, cuts. We are considering cutting the Clark Center. We will save set amount of money, 90 beds, Vietnam veterans, and we are thinking of closing it down. I mean, it's as serious as it gets when you're right there hovering, waiting to maybe be closed. And I'm sure there's a lot of people over there that would love to talk about that, and I'm sure they're quite nervous about it because, you know, and I'd like, you know, something to ask is when you're there, it's that how long have you lived here? Where did you live before? Well, I was homeless, and I finally got in here. So basically what you're saying, if you lose your place here, you would become homeless again. You see what I'm saying? It's a good thing to ask exactly where they're at and what their thoughts are and how this would really affect them if it did get closed. And then ask something like, is there anything I can do on your behalf to maybe try to help this from not happening? And see what they say. You know, Because, I mean, that's a very serious thing for 90 people to lose their housing, especially Vietnam vets. It's very serious that that could happen, and I would be curious on what their what their thoughts are and what their opinions are on the whole situation. You know, from what's inside is what I'm saying. The people themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, it'd be a great interview with some people over there. Even if you were just talking to some people at the front desk, or ran into one person walking out and say, "Hey, I'm doing kind of a story. I heard this." might be closed down, would you have any time to talk to me about it? You know, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of roll with that. And, uh, I think that would be a great story to get a good understanding from their position on exactly how this will affect them if that happens. And now, also, if you wanted to do a little more research, and I think you could call the Portland Housing Bureau to get this information, you know, to call call them, is that also in the pipeline there might be two women's shelters closed. Now, I don't know who or where these shelters are or which one, but that would be a very interesting thing to find out and, again, to go and talk to people there and say, how is this going to affect you if these are closed? How is there anything we can do from our side to maybe help to uh, not see this happen and go from there? Because it's a pretty serious thing. Now, my understanding of these women's shelters are kind of a uh, more like a shelter that operates through the winter and not so much the summer. They're kind of like a what do they call them, a temporary stay shelter, you know what I mean? They operate through the cold time, but not through the, they're closed during the summer. So uh, technically they might be saying, well, we may be closing that, but it's not going to affect that many people, especially through the summer months. So I don't know. It'd be something to research. But I was told two women's shelters also. So you've got a men's shelter, 